The NFL playoffs are here, and this matchup on Wild Card Weekend is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Chargers and the Ravens coming up next. DA Sports coverage of the NFL playoffs brings us to the home of the Ravens. Sold out M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland. Straight ahead, it's wild card weekend, and we've got a great one in store between the Los Angeles Chargers and the Baltimore Ravens. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the postseason on EA Sports. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And, Charles, that's really all I need to say to get you fired up. It's the postseason on EA Sports. And no one's more fired up than the guys who are going to be playing in this game. This is what they fought for all year long. Go back to the OTAs, the mini camps, training camp, throughout the season to get to the playoffs. The intensity level will be off the charts. as we're underway on EA Sports. Now this is going to be returned from the back line of the end zone. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. And they are led out there by their mobile quarterback. And he comes into this wild card round off of a really good regular season, better than 30 touchdown passes. And he said he feels like he can take some shots against the secondary. In fact, in our meeting, he said not only can he take shots, he expects to do it early. Let's go now. Throwing to start the drive. Irving. And incomplete to open things up. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. This pass finds its way to Williams. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he was able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. throw now on first down and that'll be complete to Stevenson and this will be stopped at the 44 that one good for seven yards they'll run for the first time with Austin Eckler and some good running out of the gates as he takes this up to the 33 a gain there of 12 yards and a first down LA Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Operating from the gun, Irving. That's complete to Austin Eckler, the running back. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. 23 yards on the play. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, 
They're going to be set up with an early first and goal. Scoring first, so critical in the postseason. They've got it here first and goal. Operating from the gun, Irving. Touchdown, Chargers! Keenan Allen from 10 yards out. And the Chargers will strike first here in this wild card matchup. Forget about the storylines of being intimidated in the playoffs on the road. I mean, that was pretty clinical right there. Yeah, they didn't treat it like it was a playoff game in January, did they? No. Look. That felt much more like, hey, we're back in August, running a few drills in the practice field. They seem unaffected by what they're facing in this one. An extra point attempt here still to come. And now it's blocked. This is going the other way. But he doesn't get far. They're able to stop him. And after all that, the extra point attempt unsuccessful. Well, there's a blocked extra point. I remember playing, and we had one of those go against us. I remember our kicker and our holder told the head coach, just relax, coach. Why are you yelling? Don't worry, it's just one point. Oh, my. Those coaches see a point is gold to them because you never know how it's going to turn out later. Exactly. That's why I was just going to say first quarter. We'll see if this has any implications as the game goes on. I still can't believe they told the head coach to relax. <laughs> Whoa. Bad move. Following the botch, PAT, they're set to kick this one away. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. So here come the Ravens now, ready to get the football for the first time. They're led out by an electric third-year player from the University of Utah, Tyler Huntley. And he comes into these playoffs bringing a team that's been battle-tested, won the division, and earned the home playoff game here in round one. But every year, they know that a division champ, it feels like, gets beat. They don't want to be that team. They have to avoid the overconfidence and make sure they play the same way they played during the regular season, mistake-free and with passion. And oh, right away, he lost the football and picked up by the Chargers. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in, in meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. The defense gets him the ball via the turnover. Now can this offense cash in? First and goal. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Three yards is the gain that time. Second and goal. Operating from the gun. Irving looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Stevenson. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Looking to throw. Irving flushed out right. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. It's a one-yard touchdown run, and they are able to add on to their advantage. He hit him earlier in this first quarter with his arm. Now he does it with his legs. Right now, he's one of those stat stuffers that you see on the basketball court. You know, the guy with points, rebounds, assists, steals. One with the arm, one with the legs. Let's see if he can continue this pace. And sending out the reminder that, yeah, look, I'm known for having an arm, but I can do it with the legs on occasion when I need to. Now the extra point try forthcoming. And he atones for his miss the first time around as this one is up and good to extend their lead. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. Duvernay now going to bring it out. 
And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. They've got to be a little shell-shocked. Down double digits at home in the playoffs. Still in the first half. They've got to turn things around quickly. Huntley to throw. And that'll be complete to Dobbins. It'll be a gain of five. And that'll bring up second down. To throw Huntley. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Here's Huntley. He's got his man. It's Andrews. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. His first catch of this wild card game, and it's good for a first down. Oh, they had a good chance to get off the field defensively there. If they could just wrap up, it's going to be a fourth down. But instead, they can't get him on the deck, and he allows them to pick up the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Again, he'll drop the throw. Looking middle, and that's complete. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. Thirteen nothing is the score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Baltimore. It's the Ravens in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. A give up the middle to Dobbins. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Back to throw. Huntley over the middle. It's complete. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys that we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Right side, there's Likely with it. He's got room at the 30, and he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 27-yard line. Defense was thinking run, and they're dealt a pass of just under 20 yards. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. Now a play fake here on first down. He rifles one that's intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. There he goes right side. And the Chargers are going to take possession of the football. I tell you what, credit is due there on them preventing the touchdown after that interception. How about him chasing him down and not giving up the pick six? Because what happens a lot of the time is when you see the interception, you just kind of hang your head a little bit and you momentarily pause because you're frustrated. He shook that off and gave great chase and got it done. Still a great return and very good field position. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And they'll have good field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with a first and ten. On the go. go! Running on first down, Eckler. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. Give him 15 yards on that one and a charge your first down. On the way. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Looking to throw, Irving. 
This ball tipped, and it's going to be incomplete. Fortunate, maybe, to get that back. It's third down. Well, he certainly didn't like what he saw at all from the coverage on his primary reads, and he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to a safety valve. Give defense a credit. Covered his in lockdown mode everywhere. Touchdown! Touchdown. Mike Williams from eight yards out. And the Chargers continue to pull the playoff surprise as they lead big here on the road. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. Now for the point after. He missed one earlier, remember, but this time he gets it to go. Just a four-play drive that time. And in the end, it was Mike Williams who capped the drive with a touchdown reception. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. Duvernay now going to bring it out. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now, they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the play did on the last one. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Two minutes to play here in this first half of the NFL playoffs. A reminder, as we did all through the regular season, we'll check in with Jonathan Coachman at halftime. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half of play. Looking to throw on second down. Huntley, that'll be caught by the big tight end, Andrews. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. On target to his man, likely. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. That's caught. It's Demarcus Robinson. Down inside the 10. That is for the Ravens touchdown. Yeah, boy, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. And that, in a nutshell, shows you what this guy is made of. I mean, most guys in the NFL just can't do that. He absorbed the contact, refocused himself, and made a break for the end zone. And the next-gen stat shows us the tale of how much yardage he was able to pick up after the initial contact. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that cuts this lead down to 13. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. Still more than a minute to go, so there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well. So that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Blitz forthcoming as he'll look to throw. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Well, they approach this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has a 
probably not. They're trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. And that's going to be good for a Chargers first down as he'll take this up to about the 33-yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. To throw on second down, Irving. Oh, and that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Allen. And he'll only give this to about the 35. Well short of the line to gain. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. As the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. On is the punter Scott here as he gets this one away. And he'll take this in at the one-yard line. A nice return that time gets 12 yards back. And control of the football switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Throwing to start the drive. Huntley. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. He's got a man complete. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? As he was shuffling right out of the pocket, you could just tell he was going to take a shot downfield. He had his eyes down there the whole way. He certainly did. He wasn't taking off to go, right? When he was flush from the pocket, a lot of times you see him, eyes will drop, ball will get tucked, and he takes off becomes a running back. But as you noted, stayed alive as a passer, tremendous body control, and a pretty good arm there, too. Tucker with the extra point, and that will take us to the end of the first half of play. So we're at halftime of this AFC wild card matchup. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. As far as the early games go on Sunday, we'll have our eye on Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. A big one for the Chiefs as they get set to match up with the Buffalo Bills. With that, we take a look at the next-gen stats for the Chargers in that first half. And even though they've got a halftime lead, they're likely devising ways as we speak to try and get a little more production from their passing game. Meanwhile, for the Ravens, they were even better throwing the football. Lots of open receivers to choose from, and you can bet that'll continue to be a focus in the second half. Plenty of adjustments likely being made by both teams in their respective locker rooms to find out who advances to the divisional round. Let's get you back out to Brandon God. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Both teams try to avoid being one and done in these playoffs as we start the second half of this AFC wild card game. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Raven offense set to start this third quarter. And Charles, that had to be an interesting locker room at halftime. This is a team that's had so much success this year. Haven't really had to deal with a lot of adversity at halftime, to be honest. But now here they are with their playoff lives on the line. And I think when you're alluding to that interesting locker room, you're just wondering, how are they handling that bit of adversity that they're seeing right now? Because I think this is a team that has to look to lean on the veterans at this point. We know we're better than this. We've proved it all season. Let them disseminate that confidence through the locker room. But this opening drive, it'll be an important one for them to give them a little jolt of confidence moving forward. And he'll be brought down here at the 28. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, here's Dobbins. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. It's a pickup of 11 at a Baltimore first down. Off play action. 
position. Huntley. He'll buy some time right. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Well, you don't expect too many quarterbacks to be adept at breaking away from would-be tacklers, but this is uncommonly good right here as he's able to get away. Yeah, and at the risk of sounding just a little bit trite, this is just a tackle that needs to be made. It's one thing when you've got a bruising 230-pound running back coming your way, but when it's a quarterback who's running for his life, your teammates will tell you, you've got to get him on the ground. And the next-gen stats, CD, it shows as he covered better than 20 yards after the initial contact was made. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Now a throw here to his running back. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. The catch and run there, good for 16 a first. They certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Ready. A shotgun snap and a give to Dobbins. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Operating from the gun, Huntley slings it to Anders, and it's complete. The tight end has it. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Well, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And the Chargers force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. The Charger drive about to get going. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And their defense just helped him out by getting the football back on the opening drive here in the second half. And now can the offense follow through with points on their first possession? And that's a big one for them because after the work the defense has done, they've got a chance here to open up this lead. One quarter remains for the right to survive round one here in the AFC. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Let's go now. First down, and they stick with Eckler. He finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. Okay. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Once more, here's Eckler. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. 67 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 23 yards on the tuck and run. 
All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Complete right side to Otten. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. That coach is always hard on the quarterback, reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, but when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. His guys will get the football back. Well, partner, here's where team football gets tested a little bit because I know the defensive guys were over there chilling on the sidelines, and all of a sudden, they heard the sudden change call because that fumble puts them right back on the field, and they've got to go out and finish the game now themselves. Absolutely. Nursing that slim lead here in the fourth, a costly turnover. the fumble recovery. Huntley throwing middle and it's complete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Fourth quarter down to the final two minutes and we've got a one score game. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. On first and ten, Huntley. And that is incomplete. This defense has watched their lead dwindle away. This is where they really need to bow up. They executed well there. And it's often hard after you've played really well early and then you kind of relax a little bit to step on the gas again. They just did it on the last play. Looks like they want to finish this one off. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. What a big tackle there defensively. One of the most difficult things for a defender to do, and think about the speed that he brought down. If he gets away, he's likely gone. Only able to gain a couple there, and it'll be fourth down. He got out of bounds, that's a good thing, but still short of the first. And now, since this brings up fourth down, the defensive play caller, grab your nerves, because now you don't want to be so amped up that you give them a first down by getting out of your lanes, but you also don't want to just lay back and let them have it easily. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Here's Huntley. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll be brought down inside the four-yard line. Wide open receiver, complete. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Chewing up big yardage, another nice game there. This one goes for 20. So here's a first and 10 now, down inside the 20. Now Huntley. And that is caught. Touchdown. And they're an extra point away from taking the lead here in the final minute. Now they can boot it through on the always important extra point, and then their defense has to hold up their end of the bargain. And there's something that you pointed out in numerous games that we've worked. Okay, the excitement's going on. Everyone's celebrating over there. Who's calling up the defense to make sure they're focused because they still have some work to do? Now Tucker to add the PAT. And now the kick is blocked. That's a live ball scooped up by the offense. A call it luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill, but the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you retain possession, that's all you're looking for. Mm -hmm. 
fitting for what's been a tight ball game. We're all even at 20 now as the kick's away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Chargers getting set to go. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that, because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? From up near the 40 now after the big play to start. Here's another first and 10. Operating from the gun. Irving. Throw left side complete. That's Stevenson. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. Another big play here as they strike for 31. So the big play has them all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. So this is certainly a tough test here in the early career of the rookie kicker. This to advance to the divisional round. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Final whistle blows, and we need some extra time here to decide who will be the victor. 60 minutes, just not enough some days to decide who's going to win the game. Chills and thrills in this one, and more to come here as overtime will decide who moves on to the divisional round. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. So out come the Chargers. And CD, we get to see the debut of the brand new postseason overtime rules. Now, as everybody is oh, learning, oh. both teams are going to be guaranteed an offensive possession. So they might get the ball first here, but a touchdown does not right away win the game. And we saw many marker games along the way that sparked a lot of conversation. But the Buffalo-Kansas City game in the 2022 playoffs, that really brought about this rule change. What an amazing game, a true classic. Ended in overtime without Buffalo getting a shot with the football, and the people didn't like that at all. So starting this season, if you make the playoffs, You'll get a chance to answer if the other team scores first. And that way, you get a chance to keep a great game as well as your hopes alive as you chase the big points. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Back to throw. Irving. On the run. He'll let this go deep right side. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, L.A. And Charles, that touchdown alone doesn't win him the game anymore with the rule changes in overtime in the postseason. But they still went down, scored, got the job done, and now they put it in the hands of their defense. And with the other side now guaranteed an overtime possession, getting that score was vital. The pressure is now on their opponent, and their defense, they have to play off the Let's momentum go. the offense generated. One stop, and they end this game. Now the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead now. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it ends with the Chargers getting into the end zone. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. Duvernay now going to bring it out. And now here come the Ravens. Well, CD, in the regular season, they would already be celebrating. Not so simple here in the playoffs. 
Now they also need to make a defensive stand if they want to pick up the victory. Oh and I'm God. sure the team would be in favor of just taking the win right now, but in a small way, those defenders are also kind of happy for the rule change because now on the big stage of postseason, they're the ones who can come out here and lock down the victory. And he will step out of bounds here inside the 30. A huge play there in overtime. 49 yards. But we know they need a touchdown here to keep their season going. And on that play, wasting no time to try to push that ball downfield, partner. Yeah, and even though the season's hanging in the balance on this drive, I don't know what you see, but I don't see any fear in the eyes of this offense. They're dialing up big plays, risky throws. They'll do whatever it takes to match touchdown for touchdown. And in this moment, they need to play the best they have all season. And they certainly appear to be ready to rise to the occasion. And they move this all the way down to the nine. The good pick up there of 20 yards. Four downs to get into the end zone and tie this game. It's first and goal. Looking to throw. Huntley. The quick slant caught. Nice gain of eight that time, and it's second and goal. Well, what a game this has turned out to be here. Second possession of overtime. Obviously, Charles, they need the touchdown, and now looking pretty good here in the red zone. And in addition, they face a very important decision if they do reach the end zone. Kick the extra point, take the tie, and send this game to sudden death. Got a man, it's caught for a Ravens touchdown. Well, CD, they had the overtime answer. Now the question, do they tie it or go for the win? Well, the teams already knew the best teams. They made up their minds before they got to the end zone whether they were going to go for two or go for the tie. Oh, this is blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a line. Does the big boy have the juice? He's at the 50, the 40. 30, but he will not be able to bring this one back in the extra point attempt, unsuccessful. I remember when they changed the rule, and there was a lot of consternation, especially coming from the kickers. Okay, how is this going to affect things, having to kick a longer one now, much more of a field goal attempt, and the defensive guys saw it as an opportunity to get more block. That's exactly right. There's more effort now. Before, when it was stepped down near the goal line, you would basically see guys just stand there. Yeah, not anymore. Now, those guys are going after it because not only can they knock it away and change a little bit of momentum, and get two points. they can pick it up and take it back for two points. The Chargers, they're going to continue on in these playoffs as we say so long, everybody. Thanks for watching.